Hey everyone, my name is Sasha, and I recently switched over to Maya for my CG work, and I quickly found out that trying to get your 3D camera track from After Effects to Maya was one of the most annoying things in the world. And for a little bit, I thought it was actually impossible, but I figured out a solution, a little workaround. Like four years ago, there was a script made to help you export your 3D camera track from After Effects directly into Maya. And I tried using that, but it was just terribly outdated. So today I want to show you the best way that you can get your After Effects camera track right into Maya, no problems, easy, smooth, and organized. All right, first thing we need to do is obviously camera track our footage. If you guys are interested on how you can do that, I have a video on how to do that in After Effects. I made like last year, I think. So you can go watch that and then come back. Before we do anything else, we do have to make sure that, that our 3D scene is fully centered. So when we try to bring this into another software, it's gonna be nicely centered within the scene and it's not gonna be completely far out somewhere to the side making it completely unusable. So to make sure that doesn't ever happen, what we need to do is before placing anything in the scene, select the points where you want to place your first plane. Before doing so, just right click on that area. Make sure you click set ground plane and origin. That's gonna basically just center our whole 3D scene and it's gonna make our life so much easier. So when we're getting ready to transfer this data, it's gonna be way more organized and ready to use. And before doing anything else, I like to usually double check that my sequence is starting at frame zero and not some other random numbers. So make sure you do that because it's gonna make everything else way more organized and less confusing. So the best way that I figured out how to move this camera track from After Effects to Maya is using another software called Blender. And Blender is completely free, it's for 3D stuff. And we're basically just gonna use a free script that I found online. I'll link it down in the description below if you wanna use that. But what that's gonna allow us to do is move our After Effects project into Blender. So then we now have our 3D camera track and then we can select everything that's in our scene, go up and export it as an FBX file. But before we hit okay, we need to make sure that we get a few things correct. All right, this is super important because if you mess this up, this can ruin the whole process. So the number one most important thing to do is scroll down to bake animation and make sure that you set the sample frames to zero because if you leave it to one or on any other number, it's gonna drop the keyframes from our 3D camera that we're using as our camera track. Last thing I like to do, you don't have to do it, but I set the scene scale to 0.1 and that basically is a nice scale that I found worked well with this project. Yeah, that's basically it. Now you can hit the OK button and you should have an FBX file. And the last thing that we have to do is just drag the FBX file into Maya. All set up correctly and ready to use so now you don't have to worry about all those annoying problems. You can just get back to doing the fun artistic things and now you can figure out what you want to place in your scene. All right, cool, that's it. Let me know if you guys have any more questions on any kind of thing and uh, I'll be happy to answer them. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. All right, peace out guys.